Hello fellow walkers, here we are again for another Zendikar Rising draft session. So today we should do, at, we will do at least one draft, probably two, depending on how it goes. Um, and as always, we'll go thoroughly through all the picks, all the, all the gameplay, I'll explain the best as I can my thought process. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So if you don't know me, I'm Diogo Pinto and I'm on on this journey for improving magic. Um, and uh, as, given that it's a very deep game with a lot to offer. Um, if you'd like to join me on this journey and, uh, and learn uh, with me um, this awesome game. Yeah, feel free to, to follow me on on Twitch so you so you know wh whenever I go live and feel free to interact in the chat as always um, so I, I will do my best to 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 answer your your questions to comment on your thoughts and so on you can also f find me on Twitter and Instagram uh, so just go go to my to go to the about section on Twitch to to find me there uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's do some some warm-up matches with uh, with the pre-constructed decks just to get in the groove and while people are joining and yeah, that, that's it. Uh, let's start the party. So I guess blue or green. Let's play a blue or green deck let me just i believe this is a bit too loud it's a bit too loud just manage that for a bit i've been tweaking the um, the sound configurations for a while so i guess this might be too much okay blue green massive menagerie okay sure I don't think I've ever played this deck. I don't remember. That's the fun thing about these decks. So right now I, I'm mostly um, stockpiling gems, uh, gems, no wild cards, so that like in in the next set or something I might uh, play in some competitive tournaments. Let us see. It depends on how. How life evolves from here. Okay. Let me just I need I still need to lower a bit down the the sound. Okay. So opponent goes first. What should we pick? Okay, we have to no early plays. No, this is a mulligan. Here we have a few lands. An enchantment. A turn 3 play. Yeah, I guess we can keep this. It's not awesome, but it's something. This is kind of removal spell. It's a bite, I believe. So target creature deals damage equal to its power. If the creature has trample, whatever. Um, Land of War Elves, I need that. Its controller adds an additional, so I need this to ramp i guess these three cards are pretty key and the lands i cannot i cannot really go go further down in lands and i guess i will draw uh big uh, other big cats and stuff like that temple of malice okay 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 this enables me to scry so it's it's useful a bit da more down the road when we know what we're looking for that's the so uh, a scry effect it it provides a portion of virtual card advantage so it's like you have you are filtering the top deck right um but only if you if you know what what you are looking for so right now since i don't i might play this play the forest and play wolf willow haven so that i jump to four mana um and 
that way next turn I can do more stuff and even play another tap, uh, tap spell. Other than that, um, my option would be play a tapped land and play Witching Well, which would, would enable me to scry. But again, as I said previously, I prefer to, 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 to delay a bit th that decision so that I have more information on what I'm looking for. Enchanted land, uh, create a two. Yeah, I know. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. One one interesting principle is the, that you should try to to think. Uh, your turn before you actually start doing it because otherwise you would start um, I'll just mute him I don't care Two -two. okay so I can temple visionary and the tapped land or I can yeah that's basically it that's basically my play right now okay I have another land so I can play it. No, I prefer to play one of these. I'll gain another life. My end is already packed with stuff to do, so there's no need on me getting frisky and try to try to guess or try to find to try to scry anything else. I will need more juice to be able to, to fight them. Okay, I can ram through one to keep this at bay, but I also have three, ma four men already. I can five mana. Hmm. Okay, let us do that. I will play this. Oh, I did something that I shouldn't. I, I should have played the first uh, forest and then uh, the creature. But given that, I will just play this. Mm, no need for my fo for more forests. Now I don't need that many more lands. I could also play the forest and ram through their sky scanner, but that doesn't seem that useful right now. Probably these ram throughs will will be more useful with uh, with bigger creatures that's my guess depending on what the opponent does so as usual we'll do like one or two of these matches and and uh, get to and get to the draft okay trample on lifelink we'll attack with it sure this is an instant. I could have left this open for their turn. That's also a possibility because life linker is is it's way too good. So they won't do anything. I guess. I guess. Okay, opponent, are you punishing me because I took too long? Maybe you are. I don't really care. Ram through, I can leave this for their turn, so I have three, four mana available. Four mana. I can start by scrying. Scrying a bit. Gathering information, essentially. Okay, there's another land. There's a mammoth. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because of this. It's eight. So I will push this land to the bottom. So this turn, if I want to play this next turn, under your control, fights up to on target creature you don't control. So I guess this is a free ram through. Um, what I can do is punish them this doesn't have trample this doesn't have trample 
I will cancel this and do this on their turn. One, two, three, four. I have four mana available. Five mana, so I will. Next. Attack. I could also pay four to draw two cards, but I don't want to. I I mean, no need to, to rush that. And this way we have to open ramp throughs for their turn. I also have the Lanoir Visionary Man, but no need. Okay. Resolve. The trigger goes to the stack. No. Oh, it's only beginning of combat. Okay. Resolve. So what does it get? Okay, okay, whatever. I can light it. Gain this. This is that touch. This fights, this deals damage. So let's go to attackers. Should I just cast both Ramth Truths? Not sure. Maybe I should. I should get on the aggressive. Let's remove all of their board. Given that this now has that touch, I cannot really uh, play the Thorn Mammoth and attack with it. You know, now I can at least remove the um, the Daw Bridge from the battlefield with my creature. So that way, the I have a, an open road to my opponent's face. I delayed the... Okay, that, that doesn't do much. I have two cards. Uh, power is equal to the number of artifacts and or enchantments you control. That's a 4-3. Okay. Now I can play this Pursued Whale. They will be forced to attack with all the creatures that they can. So I can eat up this, um, this creature on their turn. Can I unmute? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Just one second. This is... Okay. I wanted something a bit calmer for Sunday afternoon. Okay. No worries, opponent. I'm very patient. Hey, GeForce. How are you? How are you going? The league? I'm, I'm not pay playing on a league. I, I'm just doing the warm-up uh, matches as usual, so I guess you arrive um, in time to to start the, the draft. Guess I'll, I'll start the draft probably after this match. My opponent is is uh, <laughs> is rage quitting or salt quitting or whatever. Um, it's just making me wait and wait and wait. Porn toughness. Okay, number of lands. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I, I thought I thought I understood. Yeah, because I also watched some some guys from MTGO that play on MTGO, namely Nikachu. So yeah. <laughs> I was finding it a bit weird. Have you been watching the um, Zendika Rising Championship matches? They are occurring like yesterday, Friday, yesterday, and now the top eight 
top 8 players on the Rivals and on the MPL will play today, I believe. <laughs> My opponent is just... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm also not really playing neither Standard nor Historic, but I will likely play next... Um, on next set. Yeah, but uh, still, the, the formats are are actually a, a bit interesting. That they are they are actually quite diverse, and so I, I've just been again, as I said previously. Right now, I'm just stockpiling wild cards, but um, I expect that and in a few months I'll actually try my luck in in a few of those uh, Star City Games satellite events. There are, there are a lot of them, so so I guess um, it's a nice opportunity and it, it's actually easier uh, depending on the time zone of each. Yeah, I know. Of course, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's absurd and it's a big issue. I've been, I've been sharing a lot of stuff related to that and a lot of comments on Twitter because of that and ta always tagging MTG uh, like wizards because it's it's really broken it's awful for example I will just give you an example I will just give you an example for example okay wait no 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 not that so if I go to Dex I was actually just looking into um, into into a few decks the the ones actually a bit less intensive in terms of rares and mythics but still um rare 17 so no no uh mythic rares i've been playing quite decently since m21 at least a, a lot of drafts um and still 35 rares 22 myth mythic rares uh, so not not really not really that uh that much when you look into a few of the decks that are um that are getting played around so let me just open chrome and go to for example i, I uh, so top eight uh mtg goldfish let me just show you a few of those Decks. It's it's just crazy. Tournament finishes. No 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 no. Top eight. Zendikar rising. <laughs> well, I have many tabs open because um because before before I started the stream today, I was I'm actually comp compiling a bunch of articles here for future for future sessions so probably you didn't uh, get the last time i did this but i will try to do this uh, a bit more uh frequently like once a week or at least once every two weeks I i'm i'm reviewing one article per day uh, per day per week or per two weeks and so that we we get um we learn the heuristics, we learn what whatever the author is trying to, to teach us and we try to apply it over drafts, over whatever, you know, over whatever is needed. So please just load, I guess I have too many things open, so yeah. Uh, so historic, of course historic will have more, more cards, but if I go to arena, yeah, but for mythic 30, 33 rares, not that bad, but I believe I'm already not able to, to build a deck like this, and I played a lot. MTG app, web app. Hmm, nice. What will that app do? What are you trying to accomplish with that app? Rule adventures. 
28 rares, 18 mythics. So I I can essentially just build one of these decks. It's it's crazy. And people have been so so Saffron Olive, um and the guy from Strictly Better MTG, they've been pushing a lot this topic lately. So it's there are some and yeah, not to mention the um, the decks from that that play um the Yorian with 80 cards. It's like 50 something rares. <laughs> how can how can one even think about competing with that? Well, uh, one needs to dedicate a lot of time to, to this, right? So yeah. Without further ado, let's actually start uh, Premier Draft Syndicate Rising. Yeah. Premier Draft. Okay, sure. Let's see how many we we are able to do today. We've been running quite hot lately. Uh, with a 7-2. Uh, 6-2. Uh, uh, well, yeah, 7-2, 6-3 in the last two drafts. So let's try to keep the stream, uh, the streak going. Okay, so Swarm Shambler, this is not that great. Um, it does a, it does something like plus one plus one counters. Uh, it it can put plus one plus one counters on itself. Journey to Oblivion can be a nice card. Now here is binding as a big issue, which is leaves the <laughs> the card on the battlefield, and that's not always um, helpful. So this is not a card that pushes me, that drives me to play green. Green and white are being the the least uh, not as good colors, I guess. I can like pick a journey to oblivion because he's exiled and that has and it has some party synergies it 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 it, it works better in in more decks even on tribal decks they typically have um have um um so a, a party sub theme right okay now we have some good options here i'm already i'm so Rock Slide Sorcerer is very good in the wizard stack. Really good. Umara Wizard, but I'm actually more inclined. I'm undecided between Umara Wizard and Royal Eruption. Being Royal Eruption, an awesome uh, removal spell. V very versatile because it can go to the face to the opponent's face, so it gives you some reach. Uh Umara Wizard the it gains flying in a lot of decks, and you don't need it to gain flying that many times. It's still a very good MDFC. Uh, but I, but if I can start cutting good good red cards, I think I will. And our options are still very open at this point. Th th these two, I believe, are relatively close. Okay, so. Fearless Fledgling can be quite potent in a in a white deck. Well, you'll you'll trigger landfall during the game naturally, so you don't need to dedicate yourself that much to it. Balagad Recovery is also very nice. Kabir Outrider, not that much. Subtle Strike has potential, but it doesn't always work. Ashley Kulumanter is a very nice card. It doesn't have party synergies, but it synergizes with clerics, with kicker, with with the counters. So it synergizes with a lot of stuff. Still fearless fledgling, I believe it's the best uh, card in the pack for us. Oh, bloodshift starts is also very nice. It's very it's very good removal. Relatively easy to to kick. Um, no, I, I need to pick the thirst. I need to pick removal this early. This is also leaves me a bit more open. Expedition Diviner, okay. This is a reasonable blue card. Tazim Raptor, it doesn't do as much 
as one might think. Yes, it re can return an MDFC that you played as a land earlier and played as a spell. It's a 3 mana 2-2 two -two flyer, so it can work in a few decks, but it doesn't have that that those party synergies. I would play it more easily, or I would think more of including it on um on a blue deck, on a green-white deck, than than on the kind of colors that we're looking for. Okay, so um so here we have some some nice options actually my my preferred take is Kabira takedown if if the <laughs> of course the other uh, red wizard won't will but because it's just too good but Kabira take that takedown is a very nice white card so I guess white seems to be pretty much open practice tactics I'll, I'll be happy on picking one of these later I guess if my deck ends up being on the aggressive side. Other than that, this is good in rogues, but we're not doing much rogues right now. Good in reasonable in clerics. Yeah. Core Blade Master, in case we end up in in white red, I guess. Practice tactics. So this card is overly costed, generally speaking. By the way, GeForce, that 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 idea for an app seems seems really really interesting. I was actually w when I got back to Magic, I was looking for for apps that did stuff like that. One of the best ones that I found are th there are two that I use more, um, frequently. One is the um, the Bookco because it aggregates a lot of. Uh, a lot of sources of articles and I get notified when when articles are published and so on uh, and another one is MTG familiar are you familiar with those two Bugco with a B U G K oh I believe I believe it's a K uh, field research is a nice kicker card to Zim Raptor Fisher wizard in red for wizards, Cinderclasm can be good in some situations, um, but I guess I uh, okay, whatever. I, I, okay, he <laughs> picked the Fisher Wizard. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, though I I mostly use those, but I don't I don't use them to to manage decks and so on. The managing sideboards and all that stuff that that seems to be really really cool. Something that would help uh, one do something like that. I believe that's that's very worthy. Yeah, content aggregation. It's it's something that needs to be there. Uh, in some way. Oh, this is a, a late Tazim Royal Mage on the wheel. Damn. But we're not picking that much, that much blue. We're not seeing that much blue. Yes, I, I will continue doing red because red is reasonably open. And this guy is, is good to, to push some, some damage. Um, Oh, mobile app for sure. Everyone uses mobile, so I take my 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 mobile. Uh, if if it's easier to develop, um, or I, I I think that mobile first is is a best option. So nothing really that I'm hoping to to play here. Kabira Trider is a nice wheel, so I guess we'll do warriors again. Cliffhaven Sellsword. Oh damn. Practice tactics. I already have one sneaking guide. I don't believe I'll be playing two of them. Sherix. So this is a this is a nice blocker most of the time, but it, it's it's not huge by any stretch of stretch of the word. Well it's a it's a 17, so I guess it's huge. 
um, but it's it's not really a, a great card. Okay, uh, Akum Warrior on the other end, being an MDFC, is a very nice addition to our deck. So right now we have practice. Let, let us just look. Wait, no, no, no. Um, Royal Eruption. I'm really happy we picked this. Fisher Wizard Core. Yeah, so we have two removal, three kind of removal, four removal. I don't need that much more removal. I, I'm happy on not picking Nairis. Uh, more uh, cards like Nairis Binding down the road. But it would be awesome to get like the the warriors, the warriors um, lord. Kazul's Fury, Thundering Rebuke. Well, the the thing about Thundering Rebuke is it's a pretty efficient removal. I'm, I'm, mm, I'm not sure. Do I reach? Reach is also very valuable. So I might just play Kazul's Fury. So because wh why is that? Uh, given given our current picks, our plan is most likely to to be the aggressive the aggressor on the early turns, and we will need ways to close out games that that tend to go long. Cards like Kazul's Fury, um, the Royal Eruption. These cards are very good to go to the, to to attack the opponent's face directly. So I'll prioritize those over over other cards oh nice Emirius captain for each creature in our party so um so it's at least a 2-2 and i have a rogue i have an, a wizard and i'm i will again typically these decks end up being uh, being having a um a party sub theme so I'm happy on picking a Emirius Captain over everything else. So the next card in the pack for us would likely be uh, Cliffhaven Cell Sword because it's cheap. Just because of that, because um, but and it's it's still a it's still a nice card. Uh, this sometimes gets gets weird, um, Arena. Okay, we're seeing some black cards, some green cards, but we 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 should not be um, be looking much to the to them because we're just seeing this because on pack on pack one we we didn't pass any that could so uh, we sh should also not expect that many black cards or green cards in pack three. So ardent electromancer on the other end is a very nice addition to our deck because. It enables our sub, uh, our party sub theme, and it in, and it also this works better in other um, in in warriors deck even than on the wizards deck because it always or it typically uh, gives us back two uh, two mana. Um, out of this pack, um, we we have the possibility to pick another core blade master. If I pick another one, I'm very, very likely to... I will want to prioritize highly um, equipments. Other than that, it's really a sneaking guide, which I already have one of. Teeter Peak Ambusher, which is an okay warrior. Still, I believe this is the right pick. Okay, X is number of creatures in our party. This also gives us some reach but it's not that good this is a bit expensive for our deck but i might just edge on it i might ne need playables in the end probably not because i think we found our colors pretty well practice tactics is is something that typically works quite well in this kind of decks um i don't want a Zeum raptor because again if I'm not picking warriors, I want to be picking other party types. Uh, how is our creature count? 11. Practice tactics is something that we can actually pick a bit later, so I guess I'll pick another Fisher Wizard. Just because. It enables us to filter through our deck. Where is the good equipment? Grotech Bugcatcher is also nice. Um, 
I'm happy to be picking other party types because this can get pretty huge in no time. But now I want uh, I want equipments because this uh, Corblade Master wants to to do some damage. He wants to do some damage. Damage. Well, all the small creatures that I can get, right? This one is actually quite nice because it's a bit more reliable and it can block uh, some of our opponents uh, X ones. Expedition champion, an amazing warrior. So I guess we're doing warriors again. It was a warriors deck that got us to f seven wins last Sunday. So yeah, I'm happy on picking that. Synchronized spellcraft. I'm not really looking for further to playing it because it's 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 really expensive. I just hope we we get some some nice uh, some nice equipments. This is an equipment. It's a pretty shitty one, but I guess it's over a disenchant and given that I'm playing a best of one, this I'm more likely to play this. I'm, I'm probably not. Expedition Diviner, very late. Okay, so Relic Robber. I'm very happy on picking this because we also have a sneaking guide. So right now I would actually pick another sneaking guide quite happily. There's also a Cliffhaven Kite Sail, but I, the, in no world I'll, I'll be picking these over a Relic Robber, I guess. If I manage to get one or two times this creature in, but, but it's it's awesome. But this Cliffhaven Kite Sail, Jesus, if, if I manage to pick this and this, I'm good. I, I would actually just pick all of this pack and close the draft and I, I would be good because I would be happy on having McKinney Stampede, yes, I guess, Relic Robber, um, the Skyclave, oh, jeez, so many nice cards in there. Mm. Okay, out of this pack, I think I need to start really prioritizing uh, decent equipment. And this equip equipment is the Cliffhaven Kite Sail. I might not be able to, to pick cards like this later. But, on the other hand, there's also... I would aptly pick a Shepherd of Heroes right now. Because it would further... Further expand my... My party... Count. Uh, but uh, but uh, the Cliffhaven Kite Sail is so much, so much more synergistic with, with what we're doing. I hope to, to get some of those cards later. I really hope I do. Okay, on the other end, how many warriors? 12, okay. So, relatively good on warriors. Scorch Rider is not really a good card that we want to play. This pack is not that good. How's our curve looking? Okay. We could pick another Fisher Wizard, but we... I would... Ardent Electromancer has more potential for our deck, I guess. Journey, another journey. There's also a Scavenged Blade. Mm, this is pretty shitty. But I might want to play it, do I? I guess I do. I have plenty of removal and all of that by now. At least for an aggro deck that wants to be proactive. Sejiri's Shelter is very good, so I guess I'll pick a Sejiri's Shelter. I hope to pick at least one additional equipment down the road. This is an, a very nice land. Um, Resolute Strike. Mm, I might play this, but I don't really want to. A late Emurious Captain. I guess out of this pack, that's the pick, right? Mm, Angel Art Protector. This is not great in our deck. 
we might still pick it into the sideboard. But I don't really want to play it. Oh. Okay, let's see if the Cliffhaven Kite Sail wheels. Probably it won't. Please, please, please. Yes. 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 Two Kite Sails. This don't, these don't pump my creatures, but just imagine this Cell Sword with a Kite Sail. And uh, our Core Blade Master. Uh, on the battlefield. It, it, it has some potential. Uh, sure. Uh, what cards do I need? I have all of them on my collection. These two. I guess I've drafted enough to have all the commons. Probably. So I won't be playing any of these. Scavenged Blade I might. Teeter, Peak, Ambusher. I already have two of them. I won't play this. And there's a Spitfire Legac. What? <laughs> Arena getting crazy. Okay. So let me just adjust a few things here. Wait, 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 wait. not this, not this. Okay, I cannot adjust. No worries. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Arena is going crazy. Okay, so 46 cards. In terms of MDFCs, I have Kabiris Takedown, Kazul's Fury, and uh, three, I guess we have four. <laughs> Arena is going crazy. Okay, I, we have four. I'm looking towards... So, any of these... I'm happy on, a, on considering all of these as lands and playing 18 lands. Given this deck. Um, I will likely need more red and green early on. I will need to, to close her in and reopen, I guess. Um... Let me just... This enables you to better see my deck. My deck building? Yes? Yes. It works. It works. So here we have 17... Jesus. 17. In order to play 18. Um, we need to go down 4. 4. 3. 1. 2. Uh... Check. 12, 15. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay. 8, 9, 10 sources. 7, 8, 9 sources. So I guess I can also go with the 9, 9 sources. 1, 2. So for now, let's see like this. We have to, to drop 3 cards. Three cards. We have two Emirius Caption. I guess we have too many higher costed spells, probably. Relic Robber. That works well with our deck. Ardent Electromancer. I might just play one of these. Oh, you're, you're killing me here. Um, Emirius Captain. So. We have four wizards, two rogues, no clerics, no clerics. So I guess these Emirius captain won't be as good as they can be. I guess I'll drop one of them. Sneaking guide, resolute strike. I have two of them, resolute strike. It's kind of playable given our deck structure. Uh, because of the... <laughs> Jesus, let me just exit the game and see if I can restart it properly. And we're here we are again. So I hope this time it works. At least I got launch arena. It, it's, But it's very weird because I, I noticed... Um, when I was rebooting my machine, that 
um, the the championship uh, stream just started <laughs> so I'm not really sure what the hell happened there okay let's resume our our draft we need to finish building our deck yes please okay 59 cards oh jesus christ <laughs> it got crazy um all the lands of course oh let's just drop all the lands i don't really care okay so mdfc is to one side mdfc mdfc no 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 what did i what did i put back nothing really okay scorch riders these creatures are just bad for what we're trying to do i don't want expensive creatures so that gets us back to this board state I'm a bit tempted on keeping the three equipments. Um, or not. Or not. Because I have Resolute Strike as a way to, to, ch to change the equipment uh, from one creature to the other. And I don't need that many equipments. I also have uh, the Sneaking Guide giving, giving us some, some protection, uh, so eva some evasion, I guess. Uh, I don't want to play that. So I said I would play just one Emirius Captain, I guess. So this has the potential to be a 3 3 4 4 Flying Vigilance. That is very good. I guess I cannot do that. It won't be a 4 4 4 4 that, that often, because I don't have that many other creature types, but it's just too good, right? Kabira's Outrider on the other end. It might be dead in some board situations where Emiria's Captain is not. So we need to go down to 26, 26 uh, cards. So only two cuts to go. This works very well. Angel Art Protector, not really. Cliffhaven Cell Sword, yes, yes. Fisher Wizard. So how many two drops? One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have a lot of 2 drops. We might go down one of them. I'm th I'm leaning all towards the Fisher Wizard, but it, these party types actually pump the rest of the team pretty well. Uh, I should just... Mm, this is still useful, right? This is a warrior, this is a warrior. For each creature in our party. So I don't have that many actual warrior synergies per se. It's only this core blade master, but I'm more likely to equip smaller creatures with the with the equipments than the, that big one. Like Cliffhaven Cell Sword, the um, Relic Robber, the Expedition Champion, so. I will just drop those Emirius kept Emirius uh, whatever. Kabira's Outrider. Um still this can get like plus two plus two to a creature and pu and push damage. But I guess I'll have like an evasion plan going on. In terms of four wizards, two rogues, one cleric, so 27 cards. Just check. What? T. T. Creature. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I really enjoy it. I really like it. Even his story is, is... Is nice. I guess a lot of people uh, like blue a lot, but... Well... I guess everyone has their their favorite favorite color, and I like Jace's story, sort of. Your comment is 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 due to the um, due to the avatar 
that, that I'm using, right? <laughs> I love and hatred. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Did it punish the punish you too many times? A little strike, practice tactics. I'll need to keep this. Um creatures 18 9 and creature spells 18 i might go down 13 14 15 16 17 18 so i could i could actually just play 17 lands no i i have four of these i need i need to to just cut one again and 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 get done with it fisher wizard rotag titter peak ambusher is not awesome in our deck so i guess that's the cut let's just pick the lands now lands that are white and red one two three four five six seven eight well, let me just check how many do i actually want to play off each so i can play a pretty even split so that i ensure i have nine sources of mana from each color Just before we get into the match, this is our deck. A lot of one drop, so we're hoping to, to really start to double spell quite early, even with the help of Hardened Electromancer. We have some, some ways, some late evasion ways so that we have reach, which is very important in, in aggro decks. So I guess um, guess this can qu work quite well. Between this and the deck that got me the 7 wins, I'm not really sure which is the best. But of course, that might not mean anything. Uh, hated the feeling. <laughs> yeah, control is quite nice. Um, I've actually been playing... Um, I'm not sure if I already told this, but um, yeah, on paper I've been playing in modern mono blue Merfolk and in Pioneer um, blue white spirits. Both decks are kind of a have kind of a tempo strategy in a way because you it it's it's kind of weird because. Um, the 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 merfolk is is not as much but definitely the 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 spirits deck is really cool with all the the flash uh, because of many of the spells are fl have flash and it's really nice like turn uh, game one you play more of a a grindy game or um an aggro game where you take advantage of your lords and stuff and the second game you're more um you're more controlish um and you try to counter whatever your opponent is doing. So yeah, th th there's there's a lot of interesting stuff going on with these kind of decks. Cool. So we'll do like a five five to ten minute break before we start the the matches. So everyone is able to well everyone is able to to use the bathroom and um, and eat something and we'll get back to it in no time. So just before I go, the only thing. Control is sacrifice. Oh, I I need to try those decks out. Yeah, I've I've been leaning too much. Uh, well, I've been leaning a lot in in uh, agro control arc in the into the arg, uh, uh, agro control archetype. So the tempo decks uh, and. But it's really useful to to diversify. That that's that's one of the reasons for me to to enjoy draft this much because I get to diversify. I I, I shouldn't have favorites, of course. One ever everyone has, but it's really interesting. Okay, so five to ten minute break. See you in a bit. Uh. 
and we're back to the party okay let's do it let's smash some some people's faces oh I, uh, no i'm i'm playing the the blade so i guess i guess we have plenty of equipments three equipments that's that's plenty <laughs> Three equipments, two ways of taking advantage from equipments. Yeah. Okay. Turn two, turn three, attack for three. Yeah, I like it. I'll likely play this as a land. Kazul's Fury still gives us um, <clears throat> protection down the road. Or reach, I mean. But protection, protection, it's Sejir is shelter. Today I'm confusing a bit words in general, I guess. Uh, okay, we need a mountain to play our Grotech Bug Catcher. No, no thinking here. We'll have two party types by the time we can cast Emiria's Captain. We need to see what's more important for us. Hmm. Okay, we already have four mana, so no need on playing this as a land. Um, if I attack, that accomplishes nothing, at least as, as it is right now. Um, if I attack after I play my Relic Robber, they won't likely block. But I'm fine with that. So, Relic Robber it is. Grotegba Catcher attacks. Into someone with no mana and if they want to shump I'm more than happy of course they don't yeah this is a relic robber it will likely be killed but that's also fine by me because next turn I can Emiria's captain okay we'll have a fight in the air okay this will be huge as soon as I can take this Linvala uh, out of the battlefield so for this turn i'm actually more inclined to to do the following journey to oblivion there linvala that will leave me one mana open to play the cliff haven kite sail into my relic robber ensure the attack attack with both so yep no 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 real decisions now they can sacrifice it if they want that is fine, <clears throat> of course. That's indestructible. <laughs> oh, oops. Oops, opponent, because they sacrificed. And so it, it had to, to, the target is only decided afterwards. When enters the battlefield, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that opponent so but no real reason yeah of course they, they gave up <laughs> yeah it's only when enters the battlefield the, that the target is decided they, they there's there's a, a big thing that they should have considered the, the card had no target w when it was cast so it wasn't doing anything by then I was gonna win that game Either way, most likely. So, yeah. One. Zero. Let's keep on pushing through the ladder. Okay, okay, okay. Cliff Evan Kite Sail. This is not a very strong start, at least in comparison, but it's still it's still a nice hand, for sure. So no need on playing this as a land, I already have three of them. No, I won't play the Cliff Evan Kite Sail, that's a big pun. Punt. Okay, that's a... Oh, now, now the hand is great. 
So I can... Mm, I can play my Teeter Peak. Or I can play my Core Blade Master. Hmm, I'll likely play the Core Blade Master. And see if I have a better target for... For the Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Should I? Should I not? I guess I should. <clears throat> That's the issue with this. This is not a very strong attacker. It will be. It will. Okay. Nothing I can do there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I could royal erupt them. Because this is still a pretty effective blocker against me. Royal erupt, but then I'm not able to to play anything else. Still, I could jump them for two. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, no, there's virtually nothing really interesting that I can do. So I guess I will royal erupt, cliffhaven kite sail. No, let us play. A bit slower. Okay, don't care. Let's play this next turn. I can I can pump my creature. <laughs> yeah, that 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 would be. Actually, actually, you you are probably aware of the of the um, that the multiverse or not, probably it's not called like that, but. Um, the theory that that says that th there are several dimensions beyond the fourth one that is time right uh that actually uh, uh, consider the possibility for uh, for uh, something akin of the of the multiverse i guess okay that's bad for me no worries they are uh, they are playing plain so but still um I, I think I think it's something it's something really really cool. Um, it's a it's a very versatile concept from a design standpoint, and it gives it gives people something some something idealistic to aim for, even even if unrealistic. Um, okay, so no chance on getting enough mana to do my stuff. So I guess I'll play this, rail erupt them. And that's it, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I like very much those those edgy physics aspects that that are that are discussed. Um, so, like, I saw. Uh, it, it's not awesome, but uh, uh, it's still interesting. An interesting um, series. The um, Outer Worlds or something from Netflix. The, there's a new Netflix um, series that, that is uh, quite interesting. A mini series of four episodes. Um, okay, still no, not enough mana to cast this. I will just attack. <laughs> We're in sync, man. I I ended ended well watching the um, the Queen's Gambit. You were watching it too. Now that series, yeah, I, I actually tweeted it like uh, saying, um, well, given that, um, <clears throat> hey, Sopranos, how are you, man? <laughs> I'm glad you joined us for for the for the party. So G yeah, GeForce. So uh, I actually tweeted regarding th that new series, saying that um, while while Magic doesn't do doesn't have a series of their own, um, I will say um, I will say satiate my my thirst for uh, or quench my thirst for. Um, 
um, for multiplanar things. Um, um, multiplanar th series in the meantime, I guess. Okay, they killed my flying creature. Yeah, I know, I know, Leander. I'm just uh, so no. Not everyone likes to to um, to get uh, to get identified, I guess. So that's that's the only reason. Okay, so equip attack. Oh, that shit has reach. <laughs> okay, nothing I can do. Okay, I'll play a land. If I attack, I would need to pump this multiple times, so no. That is a pretty effective way to deal with my creatures. Now I need... Now I need something. I need something uh, to take care of that. Okay, this doesn't take care of that, but it's still a 4-5 Trampler. 5-6. Oh, no, no. I need one additional mana. So this I can pump once only. So no need. No need to do anything. Cool. So, Leandro, you, you ju just missed part of the... Um, part of the draft. Um, now we're on matches. We won the first game. But this game is much trickier. They have uh, they have some nice things going on. And right now, if I block with both of my creatures, they're five five. Um, that's not really good for me. And I cannot pump this twice. But they tapped this. They tapped it. So I will pass. I will take the damage right now. I will essentially trade life for a bit more time. Oh, that's bad. That's a 7-5. I don't like that. Okay, Grotag Bug Catcher. Okay, this is not going very well for us. If I attack with both, I can leave my Grotag Bug Catcher behind, but I'm not really interested in that because it will attack for 3. When it can, when it attacks, so that's better than than that. Mm -mm. Okay, nothing really I can do. Should I attack? Should I not? No, I need all the blockers I can. Unfortunately. If I attack with this, I'll leave two blockers behind. Those two blockers aren't able to take down any of their creatures. So that's bad. That's bad. We're in a bad spot right now. This ancient green warden really killed us. We could also have uh, preemptively killed the Mazalinx before they had the opportunity to, to use it for rabbit bite. But it's very hard to... To know those things for sure, or to to guess them, I can still pump the Teeter Peak Ambusher, um, which is not really good for me. They have a bunch of big, chunky creatures on the battlefield, which is bad. Okay, pass for blockers. As I need to start doing stuff, unfortunately. No oh, Jesus, this is so bad. I want to pump my creature. Okay. It needs to pass me priority. Hmm. Okay, let's activate the ability. Jesus Christ. Okay, that is game, that is game. I only have one blocker, GG opponent, GG. Next round. By the way, Leandro, I'm, uh, we're, we're doing this in English because it's uh, a bit more inclusive with 
with uh, everyone. But if you want to comment on Portuguese or whatever, just uh, f f do do whatever suits you. No, no worries. Um, one win, one loss. Next game. <clears throat> But actually, have you played Magic before? Um, or uh, I, 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 you told me you play, you were playing Hearthstone, right? <laughs> playing games with my cat. Okay, okay. Next opponent. Next opponent. Okay. Ugin versus Ugin. Mad pony. Hmm. This is close to unplayable, this hand. I'm going first, so yeah. No, 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 no. I, I won't play this. I'm kind of doomed with this hand, right? Uh, still can I can still play a Fisher Wizard. I have an additional draw, so let let us try it out. I can dump one Clif Cliffhaven Kite Sail with my Fisher Wizard, or even the Resolute Strike. Or even that. Okay. No. No need on playing a kite sail. It's cheaper to to attach it directly. Okay, that is a card. That is a card that I'm happy on playing right now. So that next turn I can attack for three with it, because it will be pumped by my Fisher Wizard. Okay, it's not that bad. So the majority of my two drops are red. Oh, they're playing with a pretty um, Bob Ross lance. Okay, that is fine. You attack for, for one. Next turn you attack for three. I can... I want to look for a land first. Yes, I want to discard a card. Submit. Yes! Yes! Planes! Planes! This is so good. So good. So good. Oh, damn. So good. Okay. Um, I can attack with this creature. And I will attach the Cliffhaven Kite Sail to whom? I have a turn 3 play, most likely. I can leave this for blockers, right? Discard a card, if you do, draw a card. My creatures with power 2 or less. Okay, I will end the turn and I will use the Resolute Strike if I, if they attack, which they are likely to do. Okay, that resolves. Now they will attack. Okay. Now, before blockers, it's very important that I actually pump my creature. And then I block. I know this will be a bit worse for my future cards, but it's still... Okay, it took remove a lot of their hand. And I still managed to block. And I have a practice tactics now to be able to, to kill them um, easily. Okay. Now, I have no good options right now because, of, <laughs> because my wizard died. I guess. Okay, this will attack for two. <clears throat> this de deals two damage only. So I guess I will attach it. Just a bit more value on the battlefield. <clears throat> Territorial Scythe Cat. Okay, that is fine. Now that is not as fine. I cannot really practice tactics because because stuff. So I need to pass. 
Okay, now I get four mana. <clears throat> Can play either my Emirius Captain, but I won't get much value by doing that. This will always attack for three. If they make the, their land drop... Yeah, th th this will become um, less useful um, earlier than the than this cat. the The thing is, if they don't actually, uh, if they are not able to to trigger landfall, so a landfall trigger would trigger both of these creatures, right? But by the time they stop drawing lands, this creature might be huge, and this creature would simply be a one one from then on. So I'm much happier on having this on the battlefield than having this one on the battlefield. That's more or less the gist of it. So given that they play this, that they're attacking for one, that is fine. Absolutely fine. <clears throat> now... Oh damn. Now, now I, I'm really... I'm really sad that I traded my Fisher Wizard for their removal spell. Oh well, still need to to play what I have. This wouldn't trigger the, the Grotek Bug Catcher because it's also a warrior. And this gets plus one plus zero until the end of the turn for each warrior. Yeah, you read the card, it's just a 2-2 two -two opponent, just a 2-2. Two -two. Jesus, 6-5, 3-3. That's a lot. And I cannot really practice tactics it, any of them. It's, it's, uh, it's not going that well, this. Damn. Jesus, I'm at five now. A <laughs> relic robber, really? Okay, at least I have to... Um, to um, um this has haste yeah it has haste but i cannot really attack right no i cannot attack it's a shame it's a shame but at least i have practice tactics for four. Oh, jesus christ opponent okay so practice tactics there brush fire elemental Still, I'll 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 need to to block the canopy balloth somehow. Pass to blockers, sure. That's an Akum warrior. Four, five. I don't even have land enough lands to play this card. Christ. Oh. No attacks. I'll need to shunt block again just to keep me alive. I guess. Yeah. You attack with both. Yeah, exactly. And I draw... What do I draw now? Okay, they have a nice play. Draw an Ardent Electromancer, which does shit for me. Okay, GG opponent. Can't see it. Nothing I can do. I might have rushed the um, the journey to oblivion. That's a possibility. Not really sure. Oh, by by the way, GeForce, I I was reading the chat. Um, yeah, uh, do, do you also watch the um, through the wormhole with Morgan uh, presented or hosted by Morgan Freeman? That was also a very good um, a very good uh, show. With a bunch of seasons, like four seasons at least, I believe. There's also the Cosmos. 
uh, which is on, in Netflix. So those those two um, those those two series are are quite interesting. Okay, I can bluff. Can I bluff? I can bluff. Come on. Come on. Okay. This is a keep. Despite everything, I have Corblade Master and Miri as captain, so if I manage to to play um to put the cliff Haven or to to have the Emirius captain or anything else equipped like the expedition champion i'm ecstatic core blade master it is and ship the turn ship the turn damn this this draft is is not going amazingly well so now we won't we can attack because we have first strike and they are tapped out. We can do that before playing anything else. This way we don't let them know that we have other things to, to play. And still I wouldn't be able to, to block this, uh, this card. Um, to target creature or planeswalker. This gas, glass, ghastly gloom hunter is quite effective. But next turn I I'll have a flyer. Okay. Hey, a little aloof. How are you? How are you? You joined us for this beautiful Warriors draft. Welcome, welcome. Marauding Blight Priest. Yeah, this guy, Glassly Gloom Hunter, is really a pain in the ass. Should I, Kabira? And attack in the air. Should I? Yes, I should. It's awesome. No, I, I should just equip. Attack with for 8. I'm also good. I'm also good. Thank you for asking. This. So yeah, I guess I will attack in the air. With this, I'll have 3 mana remaining. And they, they will need to jump to the defensive. Can even Kabiras take down their Marauding Blight Priest? Just to take down the... Um... <laughs> yeah, it's always nice to, to have someone else thinking instead of you, right? Sometimes. Yeah. I, I also I also enjoy watching a lot uh, people like uh, Ben Stark, for sure. That's the... Um, the that's the king of drafting, right? <laughs> uh, Jesus, this is huge opponent. <laughs> poor opponent, poor opponent. So I can... I won't even use my Kabiris takedown. They can do whatever they want. I'm attacking for 8 in the air. I will just save it for a bit. And it's an instant. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I, I watch a lot, a lot Ben Stark. I also watch um, Nikolai Bolas and the guys from Lords of Limited. Um, definitely. So yeah, uh, and drafting. It, it's I, I know the the championship is going on right now, but still, a lot of people are not are not really enjoying um or we're not enjoying standard and historic right now and the and all the things about the arena's economy and all of that uh, it it's not very good okay they will play something for sure i i will let it go through i don't really care i'll probably need to kabira stick down something um something later Hmm. Okay. That will take my flyer. 
I cannot really protect my core blade master, which is a shame. So I will Kabiris take down their ghastly gloom hunter before it does any damage. I don't like damage. It's a life linker, so it's it it spreads out the distance between me and my opponent uh, by by by. 2x. I don't like that. And it triggers Marauding Blight Priest, so I also don't like that. Do they have a protection spell for their Gloom Hunter? They might. They might. They don't. Yeah, nothing I can do regarding that. Still, I'll play my Emirius Captain before combat. Um, so that I attack for 4 in the air. I'll also attack with my sneaking guide most likely. It's not doing anything. Oh, damn you. Damn you. Sure. Uh, so... So, so, so. This is... If this is a race, this... This is a race I, I'm winning right now. Let us see. Unless they have other life life gain synergies going on. Like a core celebrant. Yes, that fits the bill. That fits the bill. Sure. Come on. Not a good time to be mana flooded. Not a good time. So I won't be blocking with this creature either way. Sneaking guy doesn't have profit. It's not a profitable attack. So ship the turn. I could have played that land actually. I have stuff that I want that I might want to do with six mana. Like the the Akum Warrior or something. The the six mana four five trampler. Or five four five trampler, yes. The five four is the ace creature. McKindy Stampede, so I will have to block. This is a sorcery, it is. I won't let you do that much damage. No no I won't. Still they don't they didn't play um a creature, so they didn't trigger the core celebrant unless they have a one mana creature available gasoline gloom under is two man oh sorry i thought i <laughs> i thought i passed okay let us block prevent all this damage damage and another flyer i'm at hate right now i will attack for four Leave the flyer back. <laughs> yeah, it happens a lot. I, I, so I, I I take quite a while sometimes um, before I take my my actions for the turn. But still, it's it's so um, <laughs> sometimes uh, sometimes it's not on purpose. Yeah, three four that puts me at four. It's really hard for them to... They might have something that pumps all of their team. So for them to be attacking, either this is um, a risky attack. So I guess I either win or I lose. If they have a removal spell, I'll be glad I blocked. So I guess I need to block. Of course. Of course you did have that. I'm th <laughs> I'm glad. Dauntless Unity, yeah. That's a good card. I'm, I'm at 5, so I cannot really block. That's a shame. Uh, attack, I mean. I have no way to pump my creature. So, yeah. Ship the turn. Ship the turn and hope for the best. No. 
No. No. Okay, will you attack opponent? No. Okay. Whatever. Land, go. Land, go. Land, go. I need to check. Okay, you're attacking with all. Well, I don't really have m many options. Can just d do this. And probably I'm dead, right? Unless I draw another land. So there's actually a good thing uh, coming out of uh, this loss. I'll do another draft immediately after this one. <laughs> Marauding Blight Priest. Yeah, that does it. Damn, this was a rough draft. What a rough draft. Let's just take a look at the deck. Yeah, I guess I couldn't be running out uh, for, for this long. A 7-2, a 6-3, now I have to do a 1-3. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I still believe playing to Emiria's Captain is the choice. This is very powerful with the Vigilance and Flying abilities. Yeah, I guess. This is not that bad of a deck, but well, okay, it's fine, done, let's claim our prizes, our 100 gems, and, wait, not this, <laughs> it's, uh, oh, it, it was not all today, so I, I was actually, um, Mentioning the drafts that I did on stream. I, I also have them recorded on on YouTube, made available on YouTube, but yeah, but still, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess variance, right? Best of one and variance all, all paired up. It gets you in this situation. Okay, <clears throat> so another draft. Sometimes it's good to, to die. I, I, the 7-2 was it with a Warriors deck. So, um, I, I want to play other stuff too. I don't want to be always playing warriors. You always need to, do, to look at the bright side of, of losing, right? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's go table, fill it up. <clears throat> fill it up, okay. Zareth San. Okay, I guess that might be v a good option. Um, let us see if there's anything else useful. So the the only th issue with this, it's again, it's a it's a gold card, so it's dangerous to be committing to to two colors this early. But I'm not com really committing, right? But still. Um, other than that, there's no real card that I have in consideration uh, that can fit multiple roles and while being a very good card. This Zareth Sand can be devastating in Limited. Um, so yeah, it has a version of uh, Ninjutsu that essentially you're attacking like with a 1x one, one or 2x1 two, two flyer or something and you, you get the Zareth Sand on the battlefield for 4 mana and it and whenever it deals combat damage it gets um, it gets a creature from their graveyard so it's very powerful in a limited since there are a lot of creatures going on yeah I do agree with you uh, Forsaken Monument no this is not really playable in limited typically Fastwood Surge is brutal can be brutal if we go into the late game still it doesn't really interact that well with the card that we picked but i'm not seeing exciting blue nor 
black cards here. I could also think about picking a Skyclave Cleric, but if I'm play if I'm focusing on power level right now, Fastwood Surge has so much potential on a green deck that I'm happy on picking it. Actually, the the six three uh, draft was uh, uh, there was a game in which I I did not uh, I did not attack my opponent at all, but I play the kick th no it was not a kick fast to search I I'm confusing stuff but it was the inscription I played the inscription kicked then I got it back um and I with the um, with the green card that uh, that recycles uh, kicker cards and it, it was bunkers okay out of this pack um Jesus, we're getting a bit spreaded out. A curious fearless voyager. It's not a card that I typically like. Equipments are actually re relatively bad. It are really bad in this set. Uh, I'll put it like that. So out of this pack, a tender dealer is can be brutal in clerics, but and but it, it, yeah, we're, we're getting we're playing a lot of different stuff. Hey, thank you for the follow. Um, so, Attendant Dealer is an option. Malakir Blood Priest is... It's, this is a very versatile card, but still, in terms of power level, Attendant Dealer can be brutal. Brutal. On a white card. And still, I'm not seeing that much to, to play Sarah San besides this Expedition Skulker, which is not really a signal that that um, black is open. Right now we're seeing a lot of white and not not a great deal of of um, of black nor blue. Blue we're not seeing any. So between that and the McKinney Stampede, I'll I'll try to continue edging a bit on the Zareth Sand, but I, bear in mind that I might uh, I might drop this um, um, this plan like in in the next pick i guess mckinney stampede is a is a decent uh, uh is a decent pick because it's a it's an mdfc and th these cards are this card is like a free spell most of the times mm, okay so now we have a seafloor stalker it's relatively late to to have a seafloor stalker here but we might not get the sheep um the ship rogues still i believe it's it's um i'm not seeing nice cards to pair with my attendant healer i'm not seeing nice card well veteran adventurer is is quite decent to be to be fair but re but green doesn't pair that well with anything uh, with any of the stuff that we're doing right now and vastwood search while while good you really need to have a, a a suitable deck for it because it it if you don't kick it yeah you ramp a bit but that's all the the truly powerful thing is on um on kicking it the two the two plus one plus one counters everywhere is it can be huge uh that said we have a shadow stinger which uh, again as I, as I typically say on on pick on pack one i I tend to, to draft pretty aggressively some of the, the cards that might work as signals for my opponents. And bear in mind this is still pick six and all of the three uncommons are on the are on the pack. So this is still very, very, <laughs> very good for us. A blood beckoning would also be cool, but again, as I was saying, um Shadow Singer is definitely a, a nice pick here because um we're, we're trying to communicate to signal to our left that yeah no 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 rogues for you at least we should have a, a nice pack too i hope unless they are also playing rogues which they shouldn't by now because i haven't been passing anything worthy another veteran adventurer damn that's that's a late veteran adventurer but I have a good payoff to be on on blue black at least black i'm not seeing that much blue which is a shame. Trana Silencer. I don't really want to play that, right? Ah, okay. Uh, I I really don't like this card because it's it's very very expensive for for what it's trying to do. 
it's very expensive. Still, well, it's 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 a rogue. It can be played if I have no other thing I can do. Mind drain. It's something that typically actually works quite well because you opponents are. Uh, whenever we're playing, we we might have just one, uh, two, three, um, two, three cards in hand at some at some point in time, and it's very easy to to like <laughs> leave our opponent top decking for the rest of the game. Uh, out of these packs, Skycliff Squid is not that bad. Skycliff Pickaxe is a decent e equipment, but it doesn't really do much. Um yeah, I guess still some some late red cards, but no real signals coming from there. This is if I control a wizard, I don't I w don't plan on controlling wizards. So I hope pack 2 goes well for us. Otherwise, we're a bit doomed. I think I'll pick a negate just in case. Fastwood Surge, let's put this here, Attended Healer... Oh, Jesus, this is a very late McKinney Stampede. Canopy Bailoth... Should I be... I'll, I'll, I'll pick some green cards, I guess, because we're seeing some, some green, and I might need to... If I see a broken bomb... Oh, that's... That's a very nice card. It's not a, an absolute bomb, but plus two plus two flying first strike to a creature. <laughs> Jesus, that's that's a reason to splash. Not well, not really because the re equipment cost is it requires two white mana. That's quite a lot, and I'm not seeing that much white, which is a shame. Black Predation is a card that I might pick. No real cards for rogues. This is um and some and some little andy and disruption. Ghastly Glumunter is also quite nice, but given given all of this, yeah, all of the Skyclaves is absolute bonkers, but we're not seeing any white. We were we would be just dependent on on getting white on pack two. Because on pack 3, we would likely get none, to be honest. Um, okay, that said, I have a Kabir to stick down, which is a nice land <laughs> that could help splashing that. Uh, but, but, Skycliff Squid, Ghastly Gloom Hunter. This is a. I, I, I quite like this card. But probably even more than that, Malakir Blood Priest because of its synergies with the rest of our deck. This is one of those cards that works well in other um, par in in other uh, tribal decks other than clerics. Um, but yeah, mm, it's a flyer, but it it's not possible to to put my Zareth Sand on that flyer. Oh, that's a Roost of Drakes. That's a Roost of Drakes. I don't have any Kicker right now. But I might. But I might just as well have to, to let it go. We're in pack, three, pack 2, pick 3. I could prioritize Kicker cards, but I'm, I'm badly getting blue cards, which is where most of the Kicker cards are. So... I don't expect to be able to, to push that plan forward. So I guess a Deadly Alliance is the pick here. It still does the kind of things that we're trying to do. Sky the Skycliff Squid is not doing much right <laughs> here. Still a playable. Silum Division. It's nice, but I would prioritize removal over it. And we have none to be worth talking about. Mm, this might help us play some green, but uh, we have some green here, but Fastwood Search. Fastwood Search is actually splashable, but it's a very late card to be worth it. Mm, but still we're seeing some very nice green and not that much blue. We might just have to... Um, 
to jump ship and play some oh <laughs> but it now works because we're we're getting a Muraza Sproutling and we just passed the um... Oh the the um, the Roots of Drakes. Mospit Skeleton is something I might consider playing. Other than that, we still have a nice blue card, and our primary primary plan is still play blue. This is pick five, so it shouldn't wheel. We have eight, so one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This won't likely wheel, reach us for sure. There there are worse cards in here than the than this. Um, still, our we we should try to stick to our primary plan we should be playing green i i know that i know that i know that but the zareth san and some of the the cards that we managed to pick uh in pack one were quite were quite good so uh, one analogy I, i'm not sure if you if if you are familiar with bayesian theory hey geforce welcome back my calculator for the API. Oh, Visual Basic. That's VBA, that's v Visual Basic? Or is that the language, the scripting language for Microsoft uh, stuff like uh, Excel? I, I always m m mix those up. M maybe those are actually the same. I, I never went, I only studied uh, Visual Basic and that stuff when at high school. Reason Riptide, it's really shitty. <laughs> it's really shitty for us. Uh, Reason Riptide, I don't want to play that. This is a late Kalni ambush. I should be playing green, I know, I know. Still, Expedition Skulker or Expedition Diviner. We have few, uh, few to drop, so I need, I need more of those. I need sheep, sheep ways to attack so that I... Yeah, prob probably that's the case. Probably that's the case. Subtle Strike, I'm happy on playing one of these. To... Th this might not work that well, but it still has old some potential. It, it definitely holds some potential to, 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 to be a 2 for one card. Agriconstrictor. Mm, Skycliff Squid does nothing. None of these cards does much for us. So I guess I'll pick a Squid. I'm happy on playing a Living Tempest. This is filler level, but still. <laughs> this is definitely filler. So many good r green cards. If I open a good gr green card, like a Mythic green card in in pa Jesus Felidar retreat okay that's a bomb that is a bomb in terms of white I would only have Felidar retreat but still this card is bonkers this card is bonkers I I, I need to find a way to splash it if I want to play it, but come on, it's either that or, or an acquisitions expert. Which is a black card. Oh, I'm in no position to play Felidar Retreat, right? I don't have MDFCs. Yeah, I need to pick the acquisitions expert. That was a last minute call. Um, this is a very nice rogue for us nimble trap finder so whenever any uh party creature enters the battlefield it gets unblockable and it's it's an easy way to get in a zareth sand <laughs> so it's nice um we we might be more lucky in this pack i believe yeah the felidar retreat i, I wouldn't be able to play it Seafloor Stalker is a card that I would be glad on wheeling, maybe. But I would also be glad on having more two drops. More relevant to two drops, I guess. 
Hagger as Mauling. This is nice. Uh, destroys target creature and conditional removal pegged on a land. Yeah, I'm up for that. I'm really up for that. Okay, I'm just missing. <laughs> yeah, all the commons are done. Some uncommons are not yet done. Yeah, Malakir Blood, Pri Blood, Blood Priest, I might play one of these. Mind Rain, I already have one. I would just play another one, most likely if I'm lacking... Um, uh, if I'm lacking <laughs> playables, I guess. But Agra, Agra Mauling is the pick here. Another Moss Pit Skeleton going around that I will need to pass because I'm not doing plus one plus one counters anytime soon. Still, Bubble Snare. I'm really happy. Damn, I, I didn't see any w noteworthy blue cards in, pe in pack one, but now a Bubble Snare. Uh, see, uh, uh, where is it? Where is this guy? Oh, the Nimble Trap Finder. So yeah, I guess I guess we carved our lane. <laughs> Scion of the Swarm. Whenever you gain life, that's not really what our deck is trying to do. But other than this card, I don't really have ma many more options. Still gain, gain life with Mind Drain, so I might prioritize those. Malakir Blood Priest, I have one. Yes, just one for now. For now, we might wheel an additional one. Uh, Expedition Diviner is a nice card. How are we on creature types? We have eight rogues, which is a reasonable count for our main party type. No wizards, one cleric, so yeah, I'm happy on picking a wizard for my deck. Merfolk Wing Wind Robber is um is a nice so <laughs> these these tribal decks are a bit weird in a way. Uh, in in a way I like them because they can be quite synergistic and quite powerful when, when put together, but on the other end it's like at some point you're blind blinding blindingly taking the cards uh that that fit your strategy right I, I guess relic golem i'm not doing that much milling i'm doing some so zillaport willist merfolk queen robber the um, acquisitions expert also drops them a card the i have the mind drain discards two cards placa predation i guess that also discards right Okay, so here we have a decision to make. We can even we can either get some reach with the Zoth's consumption, or get a Malakir Blood Priest, which is a nice two mana, two mana creature for our deck. Okay, or we just pick whatever I I selected first. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, Iborn Vampire. We're not doing that much party. Mm, so whatever. I don't really care. We have another Mind Drain. I, I'll probably not play the second one. It all depends, right? Let's see. Creature again indestructible. Draw a card. If that creature has a plus one plus one counter on it, it won't. So this is garbage. More garbage. And a bit more garbage. Okay, we're not... <laughs> we don't have that many playables. Or at least noteworthy cards to consider. So... Th this is virtually a spell, to be honest, this Agra Mauling. I, I hate this, what they did. So... Uh, I need. I want to select the other card and... Uh, come on, Arena. arena. Uh, so this will, will likely be played. No basic lands, this won't happen, so I don't care about that. But I still have two MDFCs, right? Two MDFCs. I have three, but I don't... That one I'm not counting. So if I play, I have a bunch of four drops, so I want a, 
18 lands, most likely. Yes, 18 lands looks about right. So I want to drop one of my lands. I have a bunch of uh, one drop blue cards. So I guess I'll play... This gives me eight. No, 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 no. What did you do, Diogo? What did you do? Oh, either way, I will drop this lance and play with pretty lance. Let's let's also play with the Bob Ross lance. So where are them? Is this? No, it's also pretty. It's this. So yeah. Seven, this gives us nine, uh, nine black sources. And now, and now, this gives us nine black, uh, nine uh, blue sources. We actually have 10 black sources due to the, um, the, 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 where's it? It's easier to look for it like this. Diagram mauling. So I'm kind of happy on playing this. 15 creatures, 9 non-creatures, so I guess that's pretty well balanced. Uh, we have some milling going on, it's not awesome by any means. But uh, we this is this also helps us uh, filling out their graveyard to, to have a better Zareth Sen. So I guess we're doing rogues, sort of. Uh... Let's just take another look before we commit to to the game. Murfolk Wind Robber, Nimble Trap Finder, okay, Acquisitions Expert, Skulker, two of them. So this is nice because um, having we will likely force our opponent either to chump or something. Just one second. And then block the attacking rogue you control to its owner's hand. Put Zareth Sen, the trickster, from your hand. There's just something that I don't know about this Zareth Sen, which is... Uh, because I never played with it. Which is... Um, can I trigger this before... Um, before blockers are, are... Are declared? I believe so. I, I think I saw that happening somewhere. So, this is... This is not only uh, or the, its ability, its ninja to ability is not only useful when creatures are already unblocked and blocked by our opponent, but also uh, in other situations. Okay, whatever. Uh, let me just try to shut off. Yes. Oh, do I need to keep? Okay, nice. <laughs> Sorry, I was just. I'm just playing with the FPS counter because I guess the I guess there was an update and they they changed things around a bit. After blockers. Oh, thank you a little a loot. Okay. Yeah. That that, that makes sense. Unblocked that kind of gives it. Um but thank you for the clarification. Okay, so we have some pretty lands, some nice early drops. I'm happy on keeping this. Okay, no real decision here. We'll play the the land that we have the fewest of. And Hope to cast an Acquisitions Expert? No, most likely a Skulker. Do we have other party types to, to ex further extend this? Yeah, we, we, we might want to delay this a bit longer. Four blockers are declared, attacking creatures are neither... Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, th those those attacking rules are a bit tricky. I, I For example, on the pre-release for this set, I. I was being attacked with a Morog, and it text it says there that uh, like, um, by uh, so they are uh, creatures are pumped depending on how many times they attack this turn. But that for me, well, it it's sort of read like, okay, this happened in the past. 
Um, but yeah, either way, it's really... Th those, those kind of things you, you know once and th then you, you're you're set for, for life, but um, be or attack, it simply means um, uh, declared as attackers, uh, so it's a shorthand it seems according to the rules, and I guess this is something like that. Okay, you looked my hand, discard stuff. Okay, I guess that's the only thing you can do. Okay, they're milling me pretty well. This turn I could bubble snare an acquisitions expert their hand. I could also just see floor stalker and try to push them to to stay behind. I have two two cards in on um, on the graveyard, so I'm still far from the eight. So I will uh, continue committing to the board right now, and probably this bubble snare will have a better target on the road. Given that, I'll attack. No need on giving it uh, that touch right now. This is a flyer, so I don't really care. I will just play the Seafloor Stalker and ship the turn. Ship the turn. So now they they should do some math, I guess. If it's worthy or not to keep on attacking. They will likely have a blocker now. They're playing it well. They're thinking about about their whole turn before committing to any decision. That's how you should do it. Okay. That's a 2-2 flyer. Will it leave anything behind? Oh, it won't leave that behind. It makes sense. Okay. Now we're at 3. I have 4 mana available. 4 mana that gives us an Expedition Diviner. So I'm happy on trading with the Windride Wizard, to be honest. They already have 3 cards in hand. But if I play this and next turn I play my Exitions Expert, I get to look at, into two cards instead of one. So I guess that's better. Um, given that, I won't play the Expedition Diviner before combat. I will just attack with Hall. Okay, they don't want to trade. That's fine. Just play my expensive flyer. And this way I'll look into two, two cards next turn okay two mana Ooh, deliberate that's not a very good magic card yeah please fill your hand with good stuff so that i can remove one of them Okay, that's a land. That is a land. That's a nice card. Did you cast it kicked? No, 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 you didn't. You didn't. No, one, two, three, four. Yeah, no, of course not. Don't have enough mana for that. Okay, so now they have two cards. I'll look, I'll take a look into their hand before combat. I, I know they only have one mana up. So, but I, so I will, if I cast this, I won't be able to bubble snare their flyer back. And I might want to do that, right? No, but there's no time, no better time to be playing the acquisitions expert than now, right? It's n maybe not the optimal play. Oh, Null Priest of Oblivion, for sure. That gets into the battlefield. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I'm happy for that. Next. 
So they have a bunch of creatures. If I attack with this, they're able to, to double block and I will only be able to, to kill one of their creatures. But in order to do that, they'll need to take care of my Expedition Diviner. Still, what I think I'll do is just ship this turn, play a land, the one that they saw, and uh, cast a Kick the Bubble Snare next turn on their flyer. So that I have a... F uh, that really helps me. Um, that really helps me push damage. Or they do that. Okay, that's fine. Resolve. Resolve. That is fine. <laughs> okay. You're out of cards in hand, so... You will attack? Mm. Yeah, I guess. That's a 1-1. One, one. That's a free attack of sorts. So I only have rogues. This will be a cleric, so it will drain them for 2. Since I only have rogues, there's no need on me doing this before combat. I'll bubble snare. Okay, if I do this right now, I have less options. So they could still profitably block my Exitions Expert, but I could attack with both. Right now, I really don't care that if, if they... Mill me more with a Mer Merfolk Ruined Robber. Oh, I have. I could play a land. Damn, I was a bit distracted there. So I can now attack with all. <laughs> I don't have those, those fun um, cards. Th those fun emotes. I don't really emote that much. I typically say good game and that's it. <laughs> Whenever I'm losing and I know I lost, so I just try to be a nice guy. Okay. That's a nice. Nice. Now we're in both in top decking mode. But they're slightly better. Their top deck was better than mine. Okay. No need on trading, right? This this is a 3-2. Could still try to attack for 2 to kill their flyer. No, they will just... There's no need, right? If I leave this, I can still profitably block the Seafloor Stalker if I can. So I will attack with both. I don't really care. Well, at least trade. I don't have any other way to, to get this back. I could also just attack with Acquisitions Expert, but... Um, yeah, I'm happy having um, one flyer less on their side of the battlefield, I guess. Okay, so... Landfall. Lands are good. Other creatures are good. Don't really know. Oh, I'm oh I'm playing with cardboard live open. Thank God. Because I I have to to reboot the stream earlier on. The, um, the arena got an update or something. Okay, this is good. This is very good. I cannot attack with anything, but I can play a Nimble Trap Finder. So if I if I draw party types, I can attack with it easily. Or they can cast a subtle strike or something and kill it. That's also a possibility. They they have an instant in hand. Or any into the royal on their flyer. That's also a nice, a nice choice. That's a nice choice. Given the board state. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! 
placa predation. Let us see their hand. They're piling up cards in hand. I, I don't like that. Let us gather information before attacking, before doing anything. <laughs> so that's what. St see, it was still very helpful. No attacks. They have a soaring thought thief. I have a rogue's deck without a soaring thought thief. Well, I have a Zareth. I don't seem to manage to draw it. No worries, no worries, no worries. Yeah, that's a flyer, nothing I can do. Just keep on milling me. This is a 3-3 now. This doesn't look good for me. This looks slightly better for me. Still, I have no attacks available. Of course I'll kill their big flyer that's milling me. <clears throat> no attacks. <clears throat> Come on, I just need a sequence of four creatures uh, with party types. I just need that. Come on deck, come on deck. I know I didn't use the, the pretty sleeves now, but... Come on, please. Collaborate with me. Okay. Mm. If I attack, they'll block, so... Zareth Sand, it's still a 4-4 if I are cast it. Which is <laughs> what I will need to do. Um, so, no profitable blocks, right? Yeah. Um, no, no profitable attacks until I cast this Zareth Sand and my Nimble Trap Finder gets unblockable. That is. <laughs> Okay, this is pretty grindy now. At least I'm I have a high life total, so I'm fine on having them attacking me if they want. Of course they don't want. So I guess I can attack. Okay, let us just plan for a bit. They could double block this. If they double block this, I will get if if I attack with all. Yeah, if I attack if I play a land and attack with all. That can only be good for me. In order to kill the Zareth Sand, they need to double block unless they have uh, other stuff in hand. But even if they have, I'm at 17 life and they, they cannot really get me to a very low life total. Do they have a pump spell or something? So, yeah, okay, that's a kind of a pump spell. Um, so, yeah, I was attacking with all because the um, w if they double block the Zareth Sand, I would have lethal them. But still, yeah, they, they could pump their creature, they had enough mana for that. So, I guess if I draw land, that's good. If I draw... A creature that's good because I keep on adding to the board and they don't they have something yeah all my just domination my thing now I have them at one no need on casting my land here I don't have a skyclave squid Two all mages domination damn that's rough Okay, that's another land. Come on. Come on. No attacks. You cannot really push damage through that. That attack might have might might have been bad for me, I guess. They're rebuilding the board pretty effectively. I could still draw us off consumption or something. That's still pretty decent <clears throat> yeah they draw a card for each attack come on I want a Zoth consumption that's all please give me a Zoth consumption 
soft consumption. Soft consumption. Okay, okay. Come on, opponent. Yes, you can attack. Master of the Winds. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. They're rebuilding their deck. I have them at one. Come on. Soft consumption, please. Yeah, you can kill that creature. I don't really care. You shouldn't do it, but... Oh, damn. I'm at... I have five... Oh, where is my Zoff's consumption here? Placa predation. Oh! No! No! Yeah, I know I can block that. that. Do I want to? No, no reason to. That's just one damage. I have a high life total. I don't really know if I have other things I can draw. Jesus! <laughs> Do they have a counter? Do they have a counter? GG opponent. GG. GG. Damn. Ah. It was the last card that could save me. <laughs> it is indeed. Ah, uh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. But I like I like these kind of games. Uh, this uh, this keeps you on the edge of the of the share. <laughs> nice. That was nice. <laughs> okay. Next game it is. Uh, a counterspell. A counterspell. <sighs> it is fine. Maybe I could have held back in that attack, but they they were pretty effective on rebuilding the board after after that. So that might have not accomplished much. It it all depends. I had I had other cards. Yeah, I guess I was a at a situation where where that was justifiable. Yeah, I'll keep this. <clears throat> the, the is that the new ship uh, installed on MacBook Pros and and stuff like that? GeForce. Yeah, uh, so I I read not not that much on it, but I actually got to understand that it's a quite interesting piece of hardware uh, that there was a nice uh there was a nice what just one just one second um so the, the there there's a lot of small tweaks that they did the small optimizations um which which worked quite well and i believe the 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 other options were using uh, actually quite outdated technology. So, like the the, the this new um, this new ship uses a nine millimeters nine nine millimeters strat or something like that um, technology. Well, either way, the important thing is they they are using a better. Um, better slightly better technology than what what was being offered by by intel and stuff and um and all of that oh damn i need i need to to block that um i will do in a bit so i guess no attacks i'll just i won't mind drain them this early there's no need for that and uh, there's no need on casting bubble snare right now, so I will just ship the turn and block this uh, 
this guy ban and message deleted okay so if if i find the 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 tweet the twitter the twitter thread that explained in in simple terms those optimizations i'll i'll actually send you okay yeah, that gets me to zero creatures they have three cards in hand so i'm one step closer to mind drain then mind drain them and there's an agra smalling cool track mclord oh damn this deck is not that good Okay, so right now I need to stem the bleeding that I have on the battlefield and only then I'm really able to to, to mind drain them. So I will um, cast a kicked bubble snare on their Kargan Intimidator so that it, it's not able to attack and they don't seem, well, they're not really focused on warriors right now so i guess this is fine and then next turn i can aggress mauling uh, or yeah i can mind drain them this this is not going well right <laughs> i'm drawing i'm drawing lands as all the lands that i can i know they're pretty but i I just need to look at one of them. I don't need to be looking at multiples. <laughs> or drawing multiples. Okay, that's a, also a beautiful swamp. <laughs> okay, now I have the option between Agra's Mauling them or Mind Drain. I'll steal Agra's Mauling. <sighs> Their creature. Because, again, I need to stem the bleeding from the battlefield as early as I can. No, they can have other stuff in hand, but still this was doing... <laughs> yeah, why <five> bot? <laughs> By the way, GeForce, I, I'm, I don't really know or I still don't know exact very well how how these things work but since since you're joining my stream often if you want to be a moderator um just let me know at least i believe you get a badge next to your name on chat <laughs> And since I know you personally, right? <laughs> that's, that's more important. Mind drain. Come on, what are you... Th oh, you might be thinking about playing something, right? Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I'm kind of doomed in this... Um, Palakut exploration. <laughs> okay, this way I can kill one of their creatures. Jesus, all the lands. All the Bob Ross lands. I feel like I'm doomed by Bo Bob Ross right now. <laughs> okay. Pass to attackers. I need to cast these before blockers, so this gets minus two minus O. Oh. I block this. <clears throat> I get no damage. No damage. And I'm doomed. Okay, this was not even a good game. <laughs> I couldn't do much. Okay. Okay, okay, okay.
Two losses, zero wins. Damn. If you if you're not familiar with uh, the regression to the mean phenomenon, this is it. Uh, the nice runs. Now I get shitty runs. Okay. So this end is barely keepable. To be honest. I cannot keep this. This I can keep. And I'll actually ship one of the lands away. Ship one of the swamps. Yeah. <clears throat> and I get another swamp. So all worked well. In the end. All worked well. Fine gecko. That is fine. That is pretty fine. But that can grow quite fast. Will they play another forest? No islands? No islands whatsoever? Okay. So I guess... Seafloor Stalker is in order. This way I can start blocking their Vine Gecko if they don't do anything. Now they will do something. I guess. I guess? No? Okay. Whoa. Did you see that? <laughs> we saw the the bounding boxes for the for the for the effects. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Then I will cast a flyer. I guess. Three cards in hand. I'm still... I'm able to disrupt them quite well this turn. They will leave their best thing. I have one spell on the... On the graveyard, so my rally column is not doing much. Yeah, sure, you can attack with that. Sure thing, sure thing. Feel free. Feel free, opponent. Okay. Oh, okay, unkicked. Oh, you shouldn't do that, opponent. If you if you wait, if you waited for, to kick it, it would be huge. Yep. Sorry. I don't really want blocks right now. I don't want to be trading this early. So now I can. Mind Drain plus Malakir Blood Priest, and you see the, um, the Auto Tapper screwing me. Okay, nice. I'll leave an, a blocker behind. And I won't be blocking with my with my 3-2 flyer anytime soon. So <laughs> Damn. Lesson for you. Be careful about the auto tapper. Need to, to put a post-it next to my screen. Be careful about that. So I'll prevent three damage, gladly. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just need to trigger it once and I get a six six blocker. And they are in, in top deck top top decking mode. So guess this is the play. <laughs> Unless they can like pump the Vine Gecko absurdly. Or something like that. 
like that spell that uh, that uh, that existed on on M21, the plus 20 plus 20 or something. I, I think it was in M21. If not, it was on Ikoria. Okay, that's a blocker. That's a blocker. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a jump blocker, but it's still a blocker. No need on playing an additional land. I have plenty. So that gives gets me to four life. That gets me to four life. They have a card in hand. Are they able to to shump to to pump it? Not really. But either way, this Kulker isn't doing much. Uh, yeah, I I I prefer to be careful. <laughs> Return target creature. Fine, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Yeah, I'll play that again and have a Zula port to a list open. Yeah, I'm happy for that. Yeah, ship the turn. So we might be winning this one. At least I I hope so. Still, it's it's still not decided. I I can still be disrupted <laughs> very easily. <clears throat> Taunting Arbor Mage. All the creatures able to block do so. Sure. Sure, it will resolve. Pass to attackers. Blockers. So now I I still need to play my Zulaport Dualist to get to get this Vine Gecko to minus two. I know. I'll lose my my cunning guys my Zulaport Dualist. That is fine. At least I only get 3 damage in. This doesn't have flash. Yeah, I'll leave 2 blockers behind. The goal is to win, not to not to be as aggro as I can or something like that. Let's see if they draw is if they've drawn what they need. Let us see. Put a plus one plus one counter. Either way I'll block with Murfolk Queen Robber. Sure. Yeah, you're pretty much that opponent. <laughs> okay, we're back to silver tier 3. Okay, okay, okay. So, fellow walkers, let us just... Okay, sure, claim the price. 
Let us just do a five minute break and we'll get back to the games in no time, okay? See ya. And we're back. For what I hope to be a, f a few more games. <laughs> it might be just one. Let us see. The goal is always to win. <clears throat> yeah, this thing is not working that well. Okay. Okay, okay. We have a turn three play. Yeah, I'll keep this. Okay. Nope, I won't play a Zulaport to a list. I need value out of that Zulaport to a list. My duelist would like to duel. Who will duel with my duel? Duelist. Okay, I could bubble snare, but I don't want to. I don't want to do a thing. Pass. If they want to attack, that's fine. I'll take two. Okay. What will you play now? Next it's turn three, so I might play the Seafloor Stalker. Okay, they do nothing. They do nothing. I have plenty of lands. Still, I believe I need to, to add a blocker to the board. At, or a way to, to, to take out removal for, from their hand. So I will just play another island. Because I, I, I need two islands and I don't need two swamps. And I, I prefer to ensure that island gets to, sticks to the battlefield and then Seafloor Stalker. <clears throat> Next turn, I can double spell um, or single spell. Okay, or that. Chuari Disruption is also a nice play, opponent. I did not like it. <laughs> but I know I was asking for it. Okay, okay, okay. So if I play this Malakir Blood Priest, this Laporte to a list can do some damage next turn, but they won't attack most likely into my own Malakir Blood Priest, I guess. And that's not a, a winning combination. Other than that, I have a Mind Drain, and I could hold the Laporte to a list for their turn. No, I need I need to start committing to the board. It hurts my soul, but it is what it is. Yeah. One damage each way. And then ship the turn. Glacial Grasp. Sure. Yeah, yeah, thank you for milling me those two islands away. I very much appreciate that. I won't play my solo part to a list. Oh, damn. Well, this is only bad if they have a bunch of... Okay, there's a wizard for you. Now that guy has lifelink. I don't like that a bit. I don't like that a bit. Okay, if I play this, I do nothing else. If I play this, I only have Sulaport to a list open. And the Bubble Snare, of course, if they attack, but I I don't quite like having that, this Expedition Healer hitting me with lifelink. So 
well just to oh damn yeah this way i don't have okay this this might have been a punt because this way i don't have an available island to get my zulaport dualist into the battlefield and to kill this stoneward pack beast that was more or less my plan but i'm lacking islands so still i still think it's important to get this lifelink uh, vigilance stuff out of the way not doing much. I feel like this deck is not doing that much. Unfortunately. Okay, so we have Expedition Diviner and Zulaport Dualist if needed. Um, other than that, we could Mind Drain them. If we Mind Drain them... Yeah, I should take advantage while I can of this card. It is what it is. Um, this way I leave Zulaport will list open for their turn. I'll still take three in the air, but that way I can bubble snare their flyer on my next turn. So yeah, no attacks and a turn. Pass. Do you want to attack? Of course you do. <laughs> I'm holding to this Zulaport Dualist to get max value. Otherwise, it won't do much on the battlefield either way. So that's the thing. It could save me two life here, but that's not much, to be honest. Okay, that's a Living Tempest, that won't be played right now. So I can play this, can play, play Placus Predation and the Zulaport to a list. I won't attack, so can just do this. I must not forget about these two damage that they two counters here that they can do damage with. Uh... Yeah. Let's see your hand. Three or greater? I hope it is. Or it is a land. Okay. That's a bubble snare. <clears throat> I need to be patient. Need to be very patient. Try to, to take this relic. I'm emulate triggers from there from there i need to to have some way resolve <coughs> resolve yeah <clears throat> of course he'll attack Max damage. And now we have Zareth. We have a Living Tempest. We have a bunch of stuff. This guy is a 2 2 now. So I guess I won't play anything. <clears throat> and I will try to, to play my Living Tempest. This is a cleric, so it doesn't pump the, um, the Arch Priest of Yona. Oh no, it's a wizard. Oh, they already have a wizard. So, no arms done. Okay, sure. We both draw a card. Oh, a land. Thank you very much, opponent. For giving me a land. <sighs> They're thinking, what the hell this guy has? What the hell? Okay, they can still kill my creature. This guy has flash. Yeah, I need to do this. 
I need I know they will kill it with the relic amulet, unfortunately. Yeah, now you kill it. It only costs them two. But I very much prefer to have these at zero and the Zareth Sen on the battlefield than <laughs> anything else, any other option. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll do this. Just because they will trigger their stuff. Okay, that also works. And that now is at four. Ah, Jesus Christ. You're killing me, opponent. You're killing me. Now I cannot cast my Zareth San. Not really. What I can do is cast my Expedition Diviner and that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I will need an additional land next turn. I won't attack. And that's all. Folks, shipping the turn. No, my Zareth San. This is my win condition right now. Either I stick a Zareth San on the battlefield somehow, or I lose. So they will need to do something with that Relic Amulet, I, I, I hope. Okay, McKinney Stampede, plus two, plus two. That's quite good. Yeah, I know. I know. So that's a bunch of damage. And I won't be able to attack back with the Zulaport to a list. Still, what I'm preventing? I'm preventing 3 damage. Gets me to 9. This gets me to 6. 6 life is quite a low life. But I also have a Zoff's Consumption. So I won't block. I will trade some life for a bit more time now my Zareth San can come and s and save me I hope please attack opponent attack with all you have they will play the McKinney Stampede And that's very bad for me, because that way my Zerith Sun is actually dead. Okay, resolve. Resolve. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I play this wrong, but I guess I can't do much. Oh, Jesus, sweet Jesus. So I need to cast these either way. And I cannot cast Agra's Mauling, so I'm at six. If nothing happens, I'm at five. And if nothing happens, <laughs> after that, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. I guess I can play this destroy the Zim Raptor. And hope that they don't draw like a, a spell or something that can put charge counters on the relic amulet. If they manage to do that, yeah, I'm dead. I'm very much dead. Very much dead. Yeah, what can I do? I can just jump. And they play a creature now. No. No. Sure. <laughs> Let's play another jump blocker. Oh, they have a removal. They have a removal. <laughs> Please don't. 
They have a removal. You have a removal spell? Yeah, I'll activate the ability. Okay, that's not a flash creature. So I'll concede. GG opponent. I'm sweating from all of that effort. Damn. Okay, okay. Let us claim some more prizes. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, today, two drafts. One, uh, one, three in both. That's not really good. Nair is lethal form. This is not really great card to be mentioned. Linvala. Okay, whatever. That's I guess, I guess that's that might end up being playable. Thrown off my kindy. Yeah, no, for uh, that one is for kicker, I believe. The kicker land. Cool. So there goes all the gems that I've won in the 7 and 6 uh, wins games. Um, either way, so since it's already 6 o'clock, today, today we won't have the time, since we d did two drafts, we won't have the time to review the picks uh, that were made last, um, last time, uh, or during the drafts, I mean. But either way, I guess we. It was useful to to try a f a some th some things out and to to learn um, a few things, but altogether, I guess the um, the statistic the probability gods were not in our favor today. I forgot to light up the candle before I came to the um, to the stream. So yeah, blame me for <laughs> for this. I forgot to to light up the candles. Okay, either way, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something here. Again, as usual, if you if you find that this content was useful for you in any way and you would like to join this journey, feel free to 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 follow me on Twitch. Feel free to also tag along on Twitter and Instagram. You can find the links on my about section on on um on Twitch and that's it for today I guess um thank you for joining and see you around bye bye